Hi, my name is Dane. I'm a pharmacist here at MD CustomerX Pharmacy. Today's video is going to be on Methylene Blue. It's a repurposed medication, something we offer here, and just its wonderful various properties that it has. Uh, saddle up, people. <laughs> Okay, so methylene blue. I'm very excited about this medication. It is repurposed. It's been around for a while. A quick history here. It was created actually, it's a synthetic, but don't worry, it, it is plenty useful. It was created in 1876 uh, just as a dye. So it's got a, actually a really pretty blue to it. <laughs> I think it's still used as a dye. Then it was later used as an anti-malaria agent uh, in World War II, and it's currently being studied uh, for numerous benefits, which we'll talk about here in a second. So the studies that I'll be going into in the next video happen to deal with, uh, for instance, uh, they found a single dose of methylene blue an hour later had shown an increase in short-term memory recall, also attention span and focus. Uh, there's also studies that are showing uh, it has neuroprotective features to it, and we'll have to go into the weeds there about kind of how the mitochondria works in a cell, and then what methylene blue is doing and helping to keep that healthy. So that'll be one aspect too. Uh, but also where in the brain it's all active, um, which is going to relate downstream to a variety of, uh, I hate to use the word mental illness, but uh, different mental diversities that someone might have to deal with, right? Like that someone might be on an antidepressant or an antipsychotic, and then how methylene blue can really help with that and potentially be a substitute. Uh, so that is something else we'll be talking about, but that's another feature that it has. And the reason it has these features uh, are or the reason it has these benefits are due to some of its unique attributes. So methylene blue is called an auto-oxidizing agent. Uh, what that means is it can donate an electron and also receive an electron. So it can do either or. That's very important for the mitochondria in the cell because there's something called the electron transport chain that is what the mitochondria uses to create what it has to make for the cell to work. Now, that electron transport chain, if you can think about a chain, right, it's going to be either donating or receiving electrons. Uh, again, we'll get into that a little bit later, but methylene blue has the uh, ability to, to, to give or receive so it can really help that function uh, properly. Uh, there is a study on humans with a randomized double-blinded MRI study that showed uh, an increase in short-term memory and then focus with one single dose an hour after taking it. So that's pretty fruitful. Uh, it's also being studied at least against Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease and just neurodegeneration because one of the products that a mitochondria creates is ATP that is used and is very helpful for cell functioning overall and there's uh, evidence that uh, ATP is very low and then mitochondria dysfunction is very high in neurodegenerative disease states and uh, methylene blue because of that unique auto oxidizing agent feature um, combats against those. Another pretty cool unique feature of methylene blue is how well it helps the skin. It helps with skin hydration and skin thickening. It's actually been shown that it is clinically um, as as robust, if not better, than vitamin C and retinol and in skin thickness and hydration. So that's another unique property or feature that methylene blue has. Methylene blue is considered a monoamine oxidase inhibitor or an MAOI. So there are some things you need to know about it prior to dosing it, as well as it, it is commercially available as that dye. There's also things you need to know about why you don't wanna take that versus taking USP grade. That will all be included in the next video. So dosing, side effects, safety profile, even stuff that you have to think about in your diet, drug-drug interactions. Again, it has a great safety profile, but only if it's done right. It's not something you should just buy commercially over the counter with 
disregard about what kind of medicine you might be taking and think that you're gonna be okay, all right? So this video is a brief overview about the potential benefits, but we have to go into finer detail, okay, in the upcoming video related to drug interactions, med interactions, food, supplement interactions, if there are any or all, right? Um, but be at ease, it does have a good safety profile if done properly. We'll also go over something called uh, hermetic attributes, which means uh, at a low dose it acts one way, at a high dose it acts the other way, but why that might be the case, okay? So thank you for watching. I hope to see you at our next video. Again, much more in depth with some studies, okay? Take care.